Okay. Good morning. My name is Rachel Bostano. I'm from Dominican Republic. And my essay title is Better Than You Think You Are. I choose this title because it made me feel international relations so and now I'm here <laughs> I become an immigrant and things change things happen and I have to tell immigrant people that they are better than they think they are and obviously I'm in, in this group too <laughs> so um, basically, this is my thesis. I want to tell the immigrant people that they have to find their goals. Um, maybe their goals can be money or can be opportunity because many people see the United States as the land of opportunity. And when they came, come here, they work just for money and they lost their identity they lost their their vision and their mission too so i want to tell i want to raise my voice to tell those people that we are capable we are better than we think we are we are and we can do it we can set set some goal we can study, we can start again, we can renew our mind, we can do a lot of stuff. So just we need to trust in ourselves and work hard like our team. We have to work hard to build something. And we don't have to lose our identity and work in whatever place that somebody tell you that you belong. We are in this land and God created, created us as um, human being to flourish in any land. And we can flourish in this land too. So thank you. Excellent. always very impressive. Um, I always find it very difficult to go to another country where I did not know the language, I did not know the culture, I, you know, a stranger in a strange land, right? Um, <clears throat> and try to practice what I do, what I have taught. Um, it would be challenging in part because here I'm used to having a certain level of status because of my profession and because of my credentials. Uh, but in another country, gee, wouldn't matter. Nobody cared. You know, nobody would call me doctor. So, um, all right, so that's a long explanation. <clears throat> what does it feel like to be so well credentialed? such a, a, a highly important uh, background and job uh, and to come here and to have to in many cases start over again or at least pass some boards or some examining committees so that you can practice law here and how do you intend to use that now that you're here in the United States how do you intend to use your your professional ability as an attorney uh, when you're talking about helping people understand that they're better than they think they are. Okay. And so how would you do that? I think we have two questions in mm -hmm. one. So the first question is, how
how how I feel and I can ask you in different ways but the best answer could be sometimes I feel devastated right yeah. it's like man what I'm doing here what I'm here and but you can do two things or sit down and cry <laughs> all the time or renew revert mm -hmm. and create opportunity and be more because and trust yourself be capable and maybe the other question is more difficult for me to answer because I'm in that point I'm thinking how can I use my ability in here in this country I'm working on it so still okay. <laughs> so but in my essay I I give in immigrants people some confidence to to do something different just work for money to follow those opportunities to create those opportunities That's fine, and, and I know that you're working on these issues. I could tell from your reaction. You, you have made such a good immigration lawyer. Oh my goodness. You know, we need immigration lawyers who really understand this stuff. Yeah. Um, that may not be what you want to be, but boy, you make a good one. I'll read this one sentence. It says, once you are here just working for money, you are selling your identity and putting a price tag on yourself. And I think that's a really profound statement that doesn't just apply to immigrants. No. I think that's a huge problem in American culture. And so I just like your thoughts on that. Um, a lot of times we don't see our own problems that we grow up with. So as someone who has moved here with fresh eyes, mm -hmm. is that something that you see? And what, how can we inspire children to pursue their own path and create their own identity without the goal of, of it just being to seek money? Yeah. Now they it's very difficult because people lost money and that makes me feel so sad about it we are we have more values than that money is just money and one time your life going into pack <laughs> you just only kind of have money <laughs> and really <laughs> you are more than that you have a big brain you have a, a lot of opportunity you have values you can do more and with children um i don't know maybe we have to put some heart um in in our vision when we are teaching them when we are playing with them in, in our house when we have to talk more with them and explain to them how how important it is to have a uh, opportunity to have a value and not just pursue money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, go, Joseph. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Because if you if you wanna reach money, 
you can work whatever you want and you just have money. But if you want an opportunity, you can work, but don't make money as your main goal. Keep believing in your main goal. Keep working. That's answer your question. <laughs> Any other questions? No? Excellent job. Thank you. Yeah,